Want to know the weirdest things the Europeans find totally normal? I'm sure these habits might surprise you. Let's check it out. Number 20. Kissing on the cheek as a greeting in France. In France, it's common to kiss someone on the cheek as a greeting, especially among friends and family. It's not just a quick peck on the cheek either. It's a full-on kiss on both cheeks, alternating from left to right. It's a warm and friendly way to greet someone, but it can be a bit of a culture shock for people who aren't used to it. Number 19. Fika in Sweden The Swedish fika is an integral part of their culture and is much more than just a coffee break. It's a time to socialize, relax, and catch up with friends over a cup of coffee and a pastry. It's an opportunity to unwind and disconnect from the daily hustle and bustle, and it's considered rude to decline a fika invitation. Number 18. Nudity in Germany In Germany, nudity is not only accepted but also celebrated. Many German spas and beaches are clothing optional, and it's not uncommon to see people sunbathing or swimming naked. This is a stark contrast to many other countries where nudity is considered taboo. Number 17. The Siesta in Spain The Spanish siesta is a traditional mid-afternoon break, usually lasting from 2 to 4 p.m. During this time, most shops, businesses, and restaurants close, and people return home to rest, eat, and spend time with their families. It's a time-honored tradition that many Spanish people take very seriously, and it's considered rude to interrupt someone during their siesta. Number 16. Swearing in Songs The Netherlands is renowned for its mouth-watering cheese, beautiful tulip fields, and charming canals. But did you know that the country also has a tradition of swearing in songs? Dutch music is known for its humor and satire, and the lyrics often poke fun at politics, society, and everyday life. So if you're looking for a good laugh, check out some Dutch music. Number 15. The Royal Family in the United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, the Royal Family is a source of national pride and is an important part of their cultural heritage. People here are fascinated by the royals and it's not uncommon to see news coverage, documentaries, and even merchandise dedicated to the monarchy. This is a stark contrast to many other countries where the concept of a monarchy is considered outdated. Number 14. Thursday Night Out in Netherlands Thursday evenings in the Netherlands can be a great time for a night out. Amsterdam is known for its vibrant bar and club scene so you can expect to find plenty of options for a night of drinks and dancing. If you're looking for live music, there are many venues to choose from, offering everything from local Dutch music, urban beats to rock and pop. For a more laid-back night out, consider having dinner in a nice restaurant. After dinner, you can have a few drinks in the same restaurant, or you can visit a local pub to enjoy the famous Dutch beer or another drink of your preference. The funny part about Thursday night outs is that even though Thursday nights are a thing in the Netherlands, you will see locals returning to the offices the next morning as if nothing happened. Number 13. The love for cheese in Switzerland Cheese is more than just a food item in Switzerland. It's a cultural obsession. Switzerland is home to some of the world's most famous cheeses, including Emmental and Gruyere. And it's not uncommon to see cheese-themed festivals, shops, and even museums. This love for cheese can be a bit surprising for people who are used to a more limited selection of cheese in their home countries. Number 12. The Importance of Punctuality in Germany In Germany, punctuality is considered a sign of respect, and it's not uncommon for meetings and appointments to start exactly on time. This can be a culture shock for people from other countries, where punctuality is not always taken as seriously. This may lead to some awkward situations in business settings, so be mindful whenever doing business with a German person to always be on time. Number 11. The Dutch Circle Parties The Dutch Circle Parties are a unique and lively cultural tradition in the Netherlands. They're social gatherings where people gather in a circle to talk, eat, and drink together. The atmosphere is informal and friendly. The setting might be a little strange for you when you attend one for the first time, People sit in a circle, eating only some cheese, sausages, and simple snacks like pickles, and when you arrive, you have to greet everyone with three kisses, even people you have never met before. Number 10. The Love for Pickled Herring in Sweden 
Pickled herring is a beloved and traditional food in Sweden. It's typically served with breads, potatoes, and a variety of condiments, and it's a staple at holiday celebrations and family gatherings. This love for pickled herring can be surprising for people who are used to more conventional forms of seafood. Number 9. The Tradition of Tea Time in the United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, tea time is a cherished tradition, and it's not uncommon for people to take a break from their day to enjoy a cup of tea and some biscuits or pastries. It's a time to relax, catch up with friends, and enjoy a bit of me time. Many hotels and restaurants also have afternoon teas, which is a very common thing. Here you can enjoy some typical British pastry, scones and sandwiches, and of course, tea. Number 8. The Importance of Personal Space in Germany For Germans, personal space is highly valued, and it's considered rude to invade someone's personal space without their permission. This can be a culture shock for people who are used to more physical forms of interaction and affection. In Germany, it's very common to talk in a formal way to people you don't know very well. This form is called the Z-form. Number 7. The Love for Chocolate in Switzerland In Switzerland, chocolate is more than just a sweet treat. It's a source of national pride, and Swiss chocolate is considered some of the finest in the world. Swiss chocolate is not only enjoyed by the Swiss themselves, but is also exported globally and is known for its high-quality ingredients and artisanal production methods. Number 6. The Concept of Hygge in Denmark Hygge is a central part of the cultural identity of Danish people. It's a word that describes a sense of coziness, comfort, and well-being, and it's a big part of why Denmark is considered one of the happiest countries in the world. Danes value quality time with family and friends, and they believe that Hygge is key to achieving a sense of happiness and contentment. In the Netherlands, they also have a similar concept. The Dutch call it Geselach. It also means coziness and comfort. The concept of both Hygge and Geselach are very hard to explain in English or any other language. Number 5. The Tradition of Santa Lucia in Sweden in Sweden, the Santa Lucia tradition is a beloved part of their cultural heritage. It's a celebration of light held on December 13th, and it's a time to celebrate the return of longer days and the arrival of winter. During the celebration, a girl is chosen to dress as Santa Lucia and lead a procession of people carrying candles and singing traditional songs. Number 4. The Love for Snails in France Snails are not just a food item in France. They're a delicacy. They're typically served in a garlic and butter sauce and they're a staple at fine dining restaurants and special locations. This love for snails can be surprising for people who are used to more conventional forms of cuisine. Number 3. The Tradition of St. Nicholas Day in Germany In Germany, St. Nicholas Day is a beloved holiday, celebrated on December 6th. It's a time to exchange gifts and treats, and children look forward to the arrival of St. Nicholas who comes bearing gifts and sweets. The tradition is also celebrated in other European countries, and it's a way to bring a bit of magic and excitement to the holiday season. Number 2. The Café Culture in Italy The Café Culture is a central part of daily life for many Italians. It's not uncommon for people to spend hours at their local cafe, socializing with friends, reading the newspaper, or simply enjoying a cup of coffee. This love for cafes can be surprising for people who are used to more fast-paced and hectic lifestyles. Number 1. The Love for Beer in the Czech Republic In the Czech Republic, beer is not just a drink. It's a way of life. Czech beer is considered some of the best in the world, and it's not uncommon for people to spend their evenings enjoying a cold beer with friends. This love for beer can be a culture shock for people who are used to more limited drinking options. So there you have it, 20 weird things that many Europeans find totally normal. While these differences can be a culture shock at first, they're also a part of what makes Europe such a diverse and interesting place. So next time you're traveling through Europe, embrace the differences and try to see things from a new perspective. Let us know your thoughts on the video. Also, if you like our video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more such informative content. Till then, see you all and have a good day.